Welcome to SkewGrid. In this video, we'll show you how to add an Amazon item to SkewGrid when you want to use BuyBox Owner. If you have already enabled BuyBox Owner for all items, there's nothing special to do to enable it on items as you list besides overriding your formula. But if you have your default marketplace settings set to not enable BuyBox Owner on all items, then please proceed. Initially, you will list your item on Amazon at your desired starting price and quantity. Once you are logged into SkewGrid, click the Add Item button. Enter a reference ID for your item. This can be anything that can help you identify the item. Some people use the Amazon SKU number and others describe the item with a few short words. Next, enter your supplier URL and supplier variation if applicable. If you are not using compare item URLs, Put your Amazon item link in the compare to item link field. Tag your Amazon merchant ID at the end and set it to lowest new. We will put a link to a video on using compare item URLs for Amazon sellers in the description of this video. Select your Amazon marketplace from the your selling marketplace field. Below that, enter your Amazon ASIN in the marketplace item number ASIN field. Leave pause repricing set to no. If you want this item to have a different default quantity than in your default marketplace settings, then select that default quantity here. Otherwise, leave it at none. Next, click override default selling formula. The formula wizard will pop up. Create a formula that will serve as your minimum selling price formula. The formula created here will be used to establish your lowest selling point for your item when using buy box owner. In this example, we are going to set it up for 8 for vendor tax, 0 for margin percentage, 2 for fixed margin dollar amount, 2 for minimum margin dollar amount, 15 for PayPal Amazon fees percentage, 0 for PayPal fees Amazon fees dollar amount, and zero for selling other fees. So in general, we've set this formula up to account for taxes and fees and bring home a $2 profit. You can override however you want. Just remember that this is going to be your lowest selling point for your item when using Buy Box Owner. Click Close on the wizard. To enable Buy Box Owner on the item, set Use Buy Box Owner algorithm on this item to Yes. Then click Add Item. Do not force reprice the item. Otherwise, you will end up setting your item immediately to the price created by your formula, which is at your lowest point. You have now successfully added an item, created your minimum selling price formula, and enabled Buy Box Owner. Buy Box Owner will start by your next check, and based on your settings, it will follow your competition's price and either undercut or match them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.